Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to show you how you can upload brush files into the Lightroom Classic uh, CC. This is the newer version of Lightroom. If you want to know how to load brushes into older versions of Lightroom, please do visit my LSP YouTube channel where I've got all sorts of instructional videos on there. But this is how to upload presets, brushes into Lightroom Classic CC. So first up, you're going to want to make sure you're on uh, the develop panel up here. Your normal presets will be over here in the presets drop down, which is where you can hover over and they will change the uh, look of your whole image. Brushes is when you can really tailor an area and really start painting effects on. You can find your Lightroom brushes up here. It's kind of like the icon is a long line with a, <laughs> a round circle at the end. I don't know why that's the brush icon, but it is. You have crop, um, spot removal, red eye, a graduated filter and the radial filter. Brushes here right at the end. Lightroom brushes are called local adjustment presets. So you can click up here to add a brush. You see the effect is on custom right now. It may say something like exposure or sharpen. You need to click on here and you will notice your brushes come up. If you haven't installed your brushes yet, they won't show. So to install your brushes, it's a little bit fiddly. Each brush file needs to be installed um, individually. You need to come up here to edit or if you're on a Mac, um, you're going to want to click on Lightroom and then preferences but on the PC. I'm going to click edit preferences. And this will bring up the preferences menu. Now, first, it's really important um, after downloading your Lightroom preset brush files that you have extracted them um, if the file is zipped up. So if you've downloaded the file and it's got like a little zip icon on it, you're going to want to right click if you're on a PC, extract all. Or if you're on a Mac, you're going to want to use the archive utility option. So I'm just going to extract these extract. So yeah, I've already extracted so it's asking me to um, whether I want to replace but that's fine. So locate the brushes in your file. Again if they've got a zip on them you're going to want to extract them. I'm, I'm loading the LSP Cherish Dreams brushes uh, but this will work with all Lightroom local adjustment brushes. And you will see here the Lightroom brushes are individual files that you're going to want to get into Lightroom. Okay, so let's get that way and go back where we were here on preferences. You see all the tabs at the top here, you're going to want to click on presets and then show all other Lightroom presets. This will open up um, on a Windows PC, it will open up your roaming Adobe folder and the same in Mac, it will open it up in your Explorer. So you're going to want to go through this folder um, and find the folder that is called Lightroom. Not Lightroom CC, just Lightroom. And then we're going to scroll down until we find the local adjustment presets. Not local adjustment, the local adjustment presets. Open this up and you will see brush files. You may only see these ones. They are all LR Lightroom template files. So you're going to want to find the Lightroom brushes that I got up just a minute ago here from your download. And you, what you do not want to do is drag the folder in. You, you do not want to do that because that will not work. You need to open it up so you see all the brushes like this and then select them all like this and drag all of these individual files in. Again, if you drag the folder in, it will not show and it will just make you feel very frustrated because you have to reset Lightroom. So please drag individual folders in, um, individual files in. So I'm going to close this down. And now to see your brushes, they won't show yet in Lightroom. You're going to have to close Lightroom down. And so I'm just restarting Lightroom now going to wait for that to load up. So now we should be able to view our brushes in the Lightroom develop panel um, on the brush local adjustment settings. So we're in the develop panel on Lightroom. If you're in library make sure you click on develop. 
click the adjustment brush here. Turn the clipping off there. Okay, click adjustment brush. And you see here where it says effect, you can click on this title and choose your brush. So I installed the LSP Cherished Dreams brushes and you can see they're now showing. If you do all these steps and your brushes are not showing, it means something's gone wrong along the way. So please do re-step the check um, re-recheck the steps again. I am tripping over my words today. What it could be is that you pulled the folder in, remember you need to pull these individual files in. So you can choose a brush, for example, I'm going to use Lift and Light. And you will notice this brush icon come up. You can scroll down to make it smaller or up to make it bigger. Or you can scroll up and down here on the size option. I like to have the feather full, but if you're doing some detail work, you might want to take the softness, the feathering of the brush down a little. If you've not used brushes before, you may notice your flow is on 100%. I like to take that down so it's somewhere between 50 and 70% because otherwise you're going in full force, you know, if you go in at 100% there's nowhere left to go, you can't go any more than that, so I like to keep the flow a little bit lower and it allows me to build the, flat, like the effect up. Density is fine at 100%. I like to keep the auto masking off as well because Lightroom sometimes gets it right but sometimes gets it really wrong and sometimes it's a little hard to see that unless you zoom in um, and you don't want to print your images out or give them to clients and see that there's some kind of pixelated blockiness in there, so keep auto mask off. So I've chosen the lift and light brush. I'm just going to paint this here on the face and you can see the tailored effect coming in. Unfortunately brush presets are only available to be installed right now um, as of the time of shooting this video in Lightroom Classic or older versions of Lightroom such as Lightroom um, 4, Lightroom 5, Lightroom 6 etc. You can't install brushes in Lightroom CC or Lightroom Mobile. So you'll need to be, if you're on Creative Cloud, you're going to need to be using Lightroom Classic to use brushes. Once you're happy with the brush, you'll see these little pins popping up as well. If you don't, you can select down here, Show Edit Pins, Auto, Always, Selected or Never. And this is basically where you started the painting, so you can click this and go back to edit your brush a little bit later. When you want to add a new brush in, you hit New, once you're done brushing that effect on, and you can choose a different one. For example, I'm going to use the Heavenly Glow now. And I'm just adding some glow in. I'm going to hit New, and I'm going to choose the Dark Deep. I'm going to make this one nice and big and I'm just going to add some darkening here. I'm going to hit new and use the Calm the Tones brush. That face is looking a little bit neon. And so on. Once you're done with the brushes, if you've, if you've added all your brushes and you think, oh I want to go back and change that, you can click on the editing pin here and you'll see that's the dark deep. That one is lift and light. That one is Heavenly Glow. These will not show on your image, these are simply Lightroom tools to show you where you've painted, so you can come in and change that if you want to. If you want to paint anything away, you can hold down Alt, you'll see a minus appears in the crosshair, it says plus, minus, that's erase, you can brush that over to erase the effect. And you can click back on the adjustment brush icon up here, and that makes it disappear. And you can carry on with your edit, you can add more brushes, you can add more presets, you can come here and manually change, entirely up to you. So that's how to install brushes in Lightroom Classic CC. For older versions of Lightroom, or different versions of Lightroom, please visit my YouTube channel and all the LSP Actions website at www.lsp-actions.com and you can see all the other installation videos on there. Thanks for watching, bye!